It's the midterm elections. I'm Johnny Massacre, and this is the Johnny Massacre Show. Hi, it's the midterm elections. I don't know a whole lot about this, but let's read an article together so we know what the fuck is going on in the world. Right, so I've gone to a New Zealand site. I've gone as far away as possible from America to try to find an article that is not infected with Trump derangement syndrome, although I think this still is a little bit. So the New Zealand Herald says, complete meltdown. What will happen if Donald Trump shocks in the midterms? I don't think anyone's going to be shocked if he comes out on top, to be honest. But all the liberals in their big city bubbles probably will be. The article says America's midterm elections are just hours away and the media is saturated with analysis of what they will mean for Donald Trump. Midterm elections are the general elections held in November every four years near the midpoint or midterm of a president's four-year term of office. Today is being billed as a national referendum on Trump's performance after two years as president. I hate that word, referendum. That's the kind of word you hear when you're 12 years old and you think, what the fuck does it mean? It means vote, of course. What are the midterms? Like a stack of weird and disturbing toppings on, on a hot dog at the baseball, America's system of government is maddeningly complex. I quite like that metaphor. Very appropriate, the iconic American hot dog symbolizing politics. It is split into three branches, each designed to be a check on the other's power. One, the executive branch, Trump and the various agencies he controls directly. Two, the legislative branch, Congress. Like our own parliament, it is divided into the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Judicial Branch, which is number three, the Supreme Court. Every four years, about halfway through the President's time, the midterms are held, putting the entire House and third of the Senate up for re-election. What today means for Trump? If today's midterms go badly for Trump and his Republican Party loses control of the House of Representatives, he will be left in a deeply uncomfortable position, unable to pass legislation without help from his political opponents. Trump's Republican Party currently controls both chambers. In these midterms, both could theoretically fall to Democrats, though the Senate is very much a long shot. Even if the Republicans only lose the House, however, it will leave Trump unable to pass legislation without his bitter enemy's help. I mean, it's kind of good that you're not in a complete echo chamber, so even if Trump does lose some of these things, it's not the end of the world, even though there are fucking crazy motherfuckers on both sides. Especially the left, it seems, these days. So, yeah, the article continues. Um, Should Democrats win control of the House as strategists in both parties suggest is likely, they could derail Trump's legislative agenda for the next two years. Perhaps more important, they, could, they would win sub Is that how you pronounce it? Sub- how to pronounce sub Isn't it sub pena sub Sorry, people. I'm very uneducated. Subpoena. Subpoena, sorry. I have heard that before. Excuse my ignorance, but yeah, I'm new to this game. Right, let's keep going. So, sorry, people. Hold on one second. Okay, back to the article. Oh my God, it's all kicking off. Imagine this on CNN, someone's, that actually has happened before, someone's phone started going off. Right. So back to the article, perhaps more important, they would win subpoena power to investigate Trump's many personal and professional missteps. So this would be funny as hell because 
Democrats only like democracy when they win. In all other cases, as we've learned by Donald Trump getting power, if that's the case, they will use nefarious means to try to get rid of him, undermining democracy as a whole, which is just completely fucking insane. Fuck that shit. If you participated in the vote and didn't cry foul during the vote, you can't fucking cry foul afterwards. So if you thought the crazy left wingers attempts to get rid of Donald Trump, not giving a fuck about the truth, just desperate to find anything to get rid of him. You ain't seen nothing yet. So it seems like if the Democrats regain some power in these midterms, it's going to be Donald Trump attack special. And actually, I kind of want to see that happen. I'm just kind of enjoying all the chaos. I'm enjoying all of the left wingers expose themselves as fanatical zealots, which basically shows us that the media at large are run by fanatical zealots. And I want to see how bad it's going to get. I want to see all the cockroaches come out and have a war. Um, so this, this is going to be pretty fucking interesting, actually. Let's keep going. But what if that doesn't happen? What if Trump's Republicans do surprisingly well and the Democrats fall short of taking back the House? The Daily Beast has examined that unthinkable scenario in some depth. It reports that failure in the midterms could plunge the Democrats into an, and I quote, utter and complete psychological meltdown oh my god i would pay to fucking see that we've had the left have power for far too long enjoy power in the media for far too long infect the fbi for far too long just infect the whole system for far too long and i am just loving watching all of these corrupt people and just mentally ill people get their comeuppance and get their karma so i actually i kind of hope trump smashes it today just so we can destroy this horrible hierarchy that's established itself in the media at large um but either way i'm i'm cool with it it doesn't affect me at all living in japan so yeah you've got obama telling people to get out and vote fuck off obama you're an absolute knob you were such a cowardly president like trump fixing your iran bollocks as we speak and north korea um yeah so the nightmare scenario Democrats need to take 23 seats from the Republicans to win control of the House. And if the polls are any guide, they should succeed. So remember that. All the polls are saying Democrats should succeed, like they said in 2016 when they said Hillary would win, right? The predictive model at 538, whatever that is, currently projects an 88% chance of them winning the seats required. A late CNN poll shows Democrats leading a generic ballot 55 to 42 thanks to a surge in support from women, independents, and minority voters. Oh, so now you people can see, right? Why do the left always talk about homophobia, racism, and sexism? It's because if they paint some fictional bad guy out there that's coming to get you, all the lazy people for whom it would be very convenient to blame all their life's problems on something will suddenly vote for you because it means that you're going to help them. But actually... These people will just remain lazy. And as long as they believe that Donald Trump or the president in power is going to suddenly fix their life, make them rich and take away all their problems, they will remain exactly that. Lazy losers. Anyway, so that's all we've got time for on today's Johnny Massacre show. I'm going to squeeze another one in. I was supposed to squeeze one in yesterday because I'm a day late with Mondays. But yeah, um, mate, I've been sick. And I kind of feel like today is the day where I finally get over that hump. So when I get back this evening in Japan, I'll record the next episode. So you should get two uh, in a short space of time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, do what all those other cunts tell you to do. Like and subscribe. See you shortly. <laughs>